There is a reading lane for everyone. Readers generally have a favorite genre, whether it's romance novels or tiny, whiny sci-fi stories about individuals becoming their own grandparents. Sometimes, as in the case of the saying, eat your vegetables, you feel the want to pick up a classic novel that you skimmed through in school, gathering just enough material from the back cover and online sources to write a book report on a work you've heard everyone say is brilliant. Today, we've compiled a list of the top five classic books everyone should read to help you brush up on your classic literature knowledge. Number five, The Big Sleep. Raymond Chandler's renowned 1939 novel isn't often listed on lists like these. Nearly a century after its publication, it's still regarded as pulp, cheap, disposable escapism in some quarters. True, as current audiences see it, the book is written in a self-consciously rough style packed with old-fashioned terminology. Even for a mystery, the plot is notoriously convoluted, with numerous unresolved loose ends. Don't let the complications stop you. It is suggested that you read this book for two reasons. The first is that nowadays, whenever you hear hard-boil or noir speech or descriptions, you're hearing second- and third-hand imitations of the big sleep. Chandler is credited for basically inventing the hard-boiled detective story. Along with a few other contemporaries like Dashiell Hammett, the second is Chandler's vocabulary, which is vicious, harsh, and beautiful all at once. The novel reads like a tone poem about greed and violence. It is the one detective story that everyone should read, regardless of their thoughts about mysteries, because it is ranked first. Number 4. To Kill a Mockingbird to Kill a Mockingbird, one of the most deceptively simple novels ever written, is often dismissed as a lighthearted look at a young girl named Scout and her first encounters with adult issues in small-town Alabama in the 1930s. The adult concerns include, of course, horrific prejudice and entrenched meanness among the town's white citizens. The plot centers around a black man accused of raping a white lady, with Scout's father, Atticus, representing him in court. Unfortunately, racism and an unjust legal system are as pertinent now as they were in 1960s, making To Kill a Mockingbird a must-read. Harper Lee's fluid, clear approach is both entertaining and insightful, investigating the attitudes and ideas that have allowed bigotry and injustice to persist to this day. To our surprise, Lee demonstrates that there are still lots of people who harbor racist beliefs in private, or not-so-hidden ways. Number 3. Ulysses as a gigantic tome, Ulysses by James Joyce is a book that elicits terror in the hearts of readers everywhere. One of the most difficult novels ever written, to say the least. There is no doubt that Ulysses used stream-of-consciousness writing techniques before the term had ever been invented. Joyce, on the other hand, improved on Tolsky's tactic in Anna Canarina by employing a similar technique. An enormous work is jam-packed of wordplay and arcane humor, and the character's very personal ruminations are all sprinkled throughout. Because of all the puzzles and riddles, this book is awe-inspiring and exhilarating. Because it is a classic, Ulysses should not be taken too seriously. Reading will be less stressful if you don't think about how important and revolutionary it is. Number 2. Pride and Prejudice There are so many current novels based on Pride and Prejudice that you're probably more familiar with the plot and characters than you realize because it functions as a literary Rosetta Stone. When you realize that this is the novel that established what a modern novel is, it's hard to believe that it was written in an early 19th century. Pride and Prejudice is a brilliant story about marriage, social class, manners, and personal growth, and evolution because Jane Austen was such a natural writer. You don't see any of the tricks and inventions she used. There are so many examples of modern authors stealing and leaving virtually intact this well-crafted story, including the Bridget Jones series, whose author Helen Fielding made no attempt to hide her source. As a reader, you may thank John Austin for a book about two people who first dislike each other but end up falling in love. Number 1. Moby Dick Moby Dick has an unfair record for being… uninteresting. When Melville's novel was initially released, it was not well received. It took decades for people to realize how good it is. And the bad reaction is repeated every year when groaning students are forced to read it. There is a lot of talk about whaling from the 19th century, which makes even the most knowledgeable reader wonder when Melville intended to get to the fireworks and start making things happen. Moby Dick has almost 17,000 unique words, many of which are specialized whaling jargon, making it one of the most dense novels ever written. As to what constitutes a classic book, there is much discussion. 
Is it longevity, popularity, literary merit, or a combination of the three? Is every book we consider a classic worthy of the label? If you have some classic books you fancy, please share it in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.